All right, everyone, I have three class setups, three class setups that are guaranteed to make your opponent say this. All right, I'm reporting Mo Mighty. Return to base. He's an Acronis. Literally has no f recoil with that bow. These three classes are probably the classes that I will use to the end of MW3 or not necessarily the end of MW3, but the launch of Black Ops 6 because they're so much fun. Starting with the ISO Hemlock. This gun has actually never been bad. This gun is actually phenomenal. It's had its share of nerfs and buffs and, you know, throughout MW2 and MW3, but it's honestly never not been good. This gun has always been a solid choice. It has hardly any recoil, though the visual recoil looks like it's high. It doesn't really move much and it hits hard. I've actually been using this gun since MW2 and I keep going back to it often. And that's how I know that it's really never not been bad. Like the gun has seriously been solid ever since. The only issue with this gun is probably the ADS time. It's a pretty slow ADS time, but if you can learn how to kind of start firing from the hip first, if you're in close quarters combat, you'll find yourself really being able to work with the slow ADS and not really have much of an issue with it. The thing is this gun is very, very, very good at medium to long range. And a lot of the gameplay that you'll see here, you'll see me just dropping people at quite a distance without any issue at all. And not really having to worry much at all about them firing back at me because I already know how solid this gun is. So if you didn't play like MW2 and you only started playing MW3 and you haven't even given MW2 guns a chance, this is one that you really should try because it's that good. So for me, I'm kind of one of those guys that really likes to venture out and try different guns often, like all the time. Very rarely will you ever see me using the same gun unless I'm going for a camo grind. The next gun that I wanna talk about is the Striker 9. Now, a lot of people go back and forth on this gun because if you don't have any type of recoil control, what I mean by that is if you don't know how to slightly pull down your joystick to control recoil, this gun actually kicks straight up pretty hard. The thing is the recoil on this gun, the pattern is very, very, very easy to control. So it really does look like you have a Cronus going on like that guy I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And though this gun doesn't have the fastest TTK, it shoots extremely fast. And like I said, very, very, very easy to control. The only thing that you might wanna change from my setup here is putting a sight on this thing because the irons are straight up trash. I'll go back and forth on putting a sight on the gun or just leaving it as is depending on the map size for maps like shipment i don't really worry too much about having a sight because i know i'm going to be in people's faces all the time and i really rely more on seeing people's name above their head than i do like actually seeing the person which i know sounds silly but i'm it's easy to track people when i can see the red name above their head so give this striker nine class a try i promise you will not regret it it is absolutely insane and last but definitely not least, this is the gun that you heard at the beginning, the guy complaining that I was using a Cronus, the BAL. What this man probably doesn't know is the BAL really hardly has any recoil at all. And with this class setup, it straight up looks like you're cheating. But the BAL has honestly been probably my go-to gun for quite some time now, especially in season six and towards the end of the Modern Warfare life for me anyway, just because it's so fun to use. And I think the nostalgia of having the gun from Advanced Warfare is kind of cool too even though it's not really the same i mean when you use the gun in advanced warfare you didn't use the base one you probably used one you got from a supply crate like the obsidian one because that one was absolutely wild but i thoroughly enjoy the bal in this game and have really enjoyed it in season six but these are three classes that i don't see a lot of people using that are absolutely wild hardly have any recoil at all and i consistently with these three guns get people to tell me that i'm hacking or using a cronus it's absolutely Absolutely insane. So I got three setups for you. I got the ISO Hemlock, I got the Striker 9, and I got the BAL. If you have not tried these guns, give these a try. You will not regret it and be prepared to probably get reported because they hardly have any visual recoil at all. So when people see the kill cam, they think you're cheating. But anyways, this is three loadouts that I do not see a lot of people using that I have thoroughly enjoyed towards the end of season six. Give these a try. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here please i would love to have you as a part of my community i am a small channel looking to grow and i love chatting with people that's one of my greatest joys in making these videos is getting to interact with you all so 
please leave a comment leave a like subscribe to the channel hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching i love you all god bless we'll see you next time